in a poetic way, this uh, trip is a full circle. Uh, it started with us watching from California the March 2011 disaster unfolding on television and uh, wondering what this meant for Japan. And uh, three weeks after the first explosions, we were detecting radiation in the milk we were feeding our children in our house in San Diego, that that plume had reached the West Coast and was uptaken through bioaccumulation in, in the dairy industry uh, 5,500 miles downwind. I think at that point, my views on nuclear power had shifted from being uh, very supportive of the, the technology to being more wary and wanting to know more about what these disasters mean to society. Uh, so in the process of, of uh, observing and learning about the Fukushima disasters, it was unfolding. Uh, we turned our, when I say we, it was a, a number of, of community groups from San Clemente, California, and uh, up, up through Orange County, all the way up into Los Angeles County, down through San Diego County. It was a number of people. It was a loose coalition of concerned citizens and professionals, uh, include doctors, attorneys, medical experts, uh, people in elected uh, official positions. Uh, all of us were starting to, to tune into this issue at Fukushima and then redirected our attentions at the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station, which happens to be about 30 miles upwind of our house. Um, and so over the course of uh, two and a half years, we organized the public and elected officials from local level to state level, all the way up into the federal level, to uh, take note of the public's position on the risks and benefits of nuclear power, that the public was growing wary as we were watching things spiral out of control at Fukushima. And uh, a number of us in these coalitions, uh, based out of San Clemente, uh, eventually put together a series of city council meetings and started to engage our elected officials. And what we're sharing now in Japan is, is that technique of uh, inclusion, because the public in California included a number of uh, specialists. Some of the people that were part of our group included the man that designed the containment structures, the chief engineer uh, that designed the containment structures at San Onofre. We had people inside the power plant speaking to us. We had uh, a number of experts that became involved in this broader public discussion. So um, it culminated with uh, uh, an event on June 4th, which was precipitated earlier by a long and drawn out, very complex legal battle that Friends of the Earth US was waging in Washington uh, against Southern California Edison, the owner of the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station. And uh, as the lawsuit was unfolding, um, we decided at the public level to organize a conference. We invited former Prime Minister Naoto Kan and uh, former chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, uh, Dr. Yasko, and independent uh, nuclear expert Arnie Gunderson and past NRC Commissioner uh, Peter Bradford to join the public and open up a public dialogue about the risks and benefits of San Onofre. And it was a very successful conference. I know there are a number of issues that, that led to the closure of San Onofre, but uh, one of those one of those forces was the public getting involved in the decision making process and putting pressure on regulators, local officials, state and federal officials uh, to take the public's concerns and their their concerns for their safety uh, at heart and and really acknowledge that the public is the key stakeholder in these disasters. The public, especially right around the power plant, are the first victims. They're the first ones to lose everything. For many people losing their homes, that is, equates to personal financial ruin. And we started to raise these discussions in, in, in these meetings that we were having. Um, so the outcome after that conference was a decision by Southern California Edison three days after our conference to uh, close the facility for good and decommission it. The Japanese 
who we've been in close contact with, asked us to come to Japan and talk to them about what we did and how we organized the public. It was a very professional and, uh, and uh, symbiotic kind of uh, relationship that we had with our elected officials. And I think the Japanese public wants to do the same thing here now. They want to they have a clearer voice. I think it's a healthy thing in planning. That's the approach that we take in progressive planning is you take all stakeholders in the broadest sense and uh, a wide range of disciplines and bring them to the table and let them discuss all these key issues. For instance, the release of 1,000 large tanks of highly radioactive uh, water into northeastern Japan's uh, fisheries. I think, I think the fishing industry needs to be at the table in that discussion. That's a huge issue. I know it will eventually wind up on my dinner plate in San Diego. That's Thank why we're here. Thank, Thank you, you very much.